Good evening, guys. What is up? We already have some people going on in here. How is everyone doing? Mr. Isaac and hello, Roger. So, um, Mr. Sean has gotten to 1,000 subscribers. So, um, Sean Hodges was giving away uh, Reaper and what's that saying? Oh, that's saying I'm going live. And so, with that being said, Sean said that he would, um, that I could just go ahead and give it away since I already had everybody in my system here. So then that way we could be a lot easier than him trying to go through and do a whole bunch. So, um, I just joining in here on this beautiful Thursday night. Um, I would have been here last night, um, but I am on water rescue and it was a beautiful night and I did a rescue last night. So, um, there was a boat that broke down about six miles where we actually dock our, our water rescue boat. And we, I left here around 5 and got back around 10.30. Um, so we actually had to go down river, pick them up, and take them a long way up river where they were headed to. So um, these are some things that um, for sure is what I did. So with that, what up? Um, we have Justin. How's Mr. Justin? Um, David, hello. I love your videos. I'll be contacting you soon. Uh, okay, I'm here. Give me the prize. This is new, right? Yep. This is um, this is your new night. Um, this is just a night that I normally going to been doing Wednesday nights. Um, I just started doing this night because I wasn't here last night. So that's the only reason why I am here tonight. And also, I have a new thing coming that will be on this Sunday night. I will still do my normal live on Sunday night, but I'm actually going to go on Zoom on Sunday night. So if you are in my membership, um, check out my um, check out my live on or check out my Zoom on Sunday night at seven o'clock Eastern time. So I'm going to do it. It's going to go for about an hour. It'll go to 7 to 8. That'll give me a little bit of time because I always start with my guests at 8.40, at about 8.40 to make sure everything's working right. And so um, we will um, do everything there. Now, what all is going to be involved in my Zoom calls? It's going to be a Zoom call. So everybody will be able to come in, see each other, um, talk to each other. And we're going to try, I'm going to try to answer your question as they come in. And I'm going to try to give questions uh, to help us grow our business. And so um, this Zoom call will be every other Sunday night. And I'm going to start with this Sunday night being the first one at 7 o'clock. Um, that link for that Zoom call will be either in my personal Facebook, or not in my personal, but in the Pressure Wash Help um, Facebook group, which you have to ha be a member of the Pressure Wash Help um my training so if you get in there it'll be in there what up what up mr bama fam so who's all wanting to see who won the giveaway and if you all have any questions you can go ahead and ask and that way i can um, um, get going there but what's up rodney um what's a good power washer to start off on um Mr. Kevin asks, I'm going to answer that question then while I'm hearing some response of who's ready to see the giveaway. What's a good pressure washer to start off on? Um, at least you want to start off with a four gallon a minute, um, four gallon a minute machine. You don't want to be no less than that. Um, and actually they sell a, 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 and it's not about pressure. It's more about, um, it's more about, uh, it's more about how many gallons per minute when we're starting off and so with that um you know there is a five and a half gallon machine i believe it's called the mad max or something there's a couple different ones and that pump is really a good pump it's a five and a half gallon it's it's a little bit lower pressure you usually are about 2500 some of them bump them up to about 3000 psi and that right there is a great pump you can get it for about anywhere from I've seen people getting them from about sixteen hundred to about nineteen two thousand dollars and that is a great pump to um, get started with so um, 
on this giveaway for Mr. Sean. I told Sean about it. I don't know if he's not on here yet. Um, I, I don't know if he will come on or not. But again, if you haven't already, make sure you go. Let me, I'm going to pull this up here real quick. Um, I'm going to show what it is going to be. And then, you know, uh, the website. I put his link down in the description. And so this is something to make sure that you um, go and check out his website and all of that awesome stuff for him um this is going to be his facebook page i'm going to see if i can find his website from it but again this is from um arkansas soft washing um kits it is worth about 1500 bucks um he makes some great um stuff so um he does a little bit of everything so go check him out um, that way you will be able to, I'm going to see if I can pull up his website versus this here. He actually just did a website and so, um, get rid of that thing. Um, so we're going to go and see, you know, I'm going to show you what it is. And so if you're looking for a soft wash kit, I would really recommend that you, um, you do this. Um, he does. Um, he builds them. He builds them in a box. Let me back back out of here if it's going to allow me to back out of here. Um, it just kind of went stupid on me. Um, uh, let's back out here. And so this here is the Reaper. This one is from nine ninety nine. I believe the one that he's giving away is similar to this one. Um, so this is what you're looking at. Um, here's some other boxes, and basically this box will. Um, this box is a great thing to be able to start your business and do everything. Um, so he does, he is building trailers too. And so if you're looking for a pressure washing trailer, he does offer that also. Um, he's got some skids, some pretty cool skids. Um, the last one he went out, I know it had a DI tank, the whole nine for even, um, for even, um, for even um, window cleaning. So um, I know you might be like, why are you plugging him? Well, he is giving away a uh, $1,500 box. Thousand, it's, it, I think it retails for $1,500. So guess what? Go buy some stuff from him and that would be a nice thing to do. All right, so you're done with me telling you about that. Let's get on who's going to win it. Now, on this, it's going to tell you, um, the first slide is going to tell you how who won it with the first um let me move this stupid thing it's going to tell you who won it with just the first three letters of the um of the uh email address i do not know this person um it and this system just automatically brings it up i do not know this person i didn't recognize his email um it is a pressure washing email but i do not know how who this guy is um a hundred percent so we're gonna show you here and the winner is let's see if i can do some applauding here i don't know if it does or not let's see if it applaud and the winner is a w e and the rest of his email address is um awesome wash pressure washing at gmail.com so if any of you are that email address that is the winner. Um, so I will be emailing this person to get the email address and everything. Um, so that way you will be able to claim your prize. But now, if you didn't win, you didn't win. I didn't win. I actually had three because I wanted to test it too. Um, if you didn't win, then, well, better luck next time. Um, with that being said... What would be some good giveaways? I am planning on giving some more stuff away because I want to give back to the community. And I want to be able to give some stuff away. Now, it's probably not going to be no $1,000, $2,500 worth of stuff. It's going to be some smaller stuff. And that is some things that we definitely want to do. But um, that is something that I want to start giving away. Um, I've given away a t-shirt. I'm giving... Um, I may give away 
um, I don't know. We'll just see what I can get, but uh, just some different stuff. Um, is the AR pump all good at all? Eh, it's all right. I'm not a big fan of the AR. I like the general and that kind of stuff, but that is what it is. All right, so I'm going to scroll back up here because I have had quite a bit of questions here. What percent for painted aluminum garage doors? I just use house wash mix, three and a half or a half and a percent. A free month pressure washing membership. Hey, if you stick around for the right amount of time, you'll get that. Um, hose reels. What kind of hose reel, Gregory? Nice and pretty ones, huh? I might could do a hose reel. I might even do splurge a little bit and get electric. Who likes electric hose reels? Um, a class. I could do a class. I could do a class. This class actually booked up quite a bit on me. Um, I think I'm up to seven people this class. So, which is, I didn't want too much because of all the crap going on and stuff. So, hose reel would be a good giveaway. What is the best way to deal with issues with weep holes? Don't spray high pressure up in them. That's a good way. And eight, you want an 18 inch electric. Um, them are some nice electric wheels. You want, uh, yeah, I was just going to say, you want a alum, uh, Titan aluminum with the stainless steel guts. Uh, it's about, what is, what are they? About 600 and some dollars, 650 bucks, I believe they are. They're nice and pricey, um, for sure. Very pricey. Started quoting jobs in $50 increments. Found out a lot of people will round up to the nearest hundred as a tip. I've made 500 extra dollars in tips in six days. You're killing it, dude. You're killing it. When you coming on my live with me, uh, Central Illinois Power Washing, um, this weekend I got Mr. Benjamin. I hope he's still coming. Um, but after that, I know next weekend, I believe it's the 4th of July weekend, so I may just have myself on just because I know people might be busy that day. Um, the bandit for the win. Yep. I like the bandit, um, for the win five and a half made me a thousand dollars in last year and a half thousands of dollars. Yes. Thousands. I will be downstreaming bypass setup stops. Kim with low pressure tips. Yes, it does. It does. It does. It sure does. Um, and it is the bypass isn't so much on the I would like to win. Well, Mr. Clean Savannah, actually go check out his channel. Um, he's are you still giving away your mixer valve or did you already give yours away? Um, I know he Mr. Clean Savannah was giving away a mixer valve. I don't know if he's still giving it away or not. Um, but go check out his channel for sure. Um, we already gave it away. It was awesome wash powerwash at gmail.com who won so um but i do know savannah is giving a, was giving away a mixer valve so if you would like to win a mixer valve go check it out what's the best soap for soft washing i like snotmanade i got a little kid my kids jumping up and down outside um thanks for the great channel pressure wash help thank you i tried to um but yeah, definitely go check out Clean Savannah. When I get down there, I'll post it up there again. But do you clean stucco siding like you clean vinyl siding? No. Um, you're going to have to go a little bit stronger than vinyl siding most of the time. Um, you can downstream. Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Arkansas, thank you for the super chat. And the winner, I'm going to tell it again since um, Mr. Arkansas win. Soft wash is on now. The winner is awesome wash pressure washing at gmail.com. And again, go check out Sean's stuff. This is, is just says AWE. Go check out Sean's stuff. Again, if you'd like a skid, build, anything like that, Sean can hook you up. Um, and so I will email that dude and see if I can get his email address and everything, Sean, and then I can send it to you if you want me to do it that way, unless you want to do it yourself. So I'll get that done for you. Also, do you want to dominate your market? Do you want to um, 
make a lot of money in your market go check out this webinar that well that isn't right it's supposed to be I changed that earlier today and it did not change um, let's see if I can change it on the fly pressurewashhelp.com slash webinar webinar um, and Bobby Walker and myself and we'll be doing a webinar about how to dominate your market so definitely go check that out um, pressurewashhelp.com slash webinar I'm gonna leave that up there for a few seconds so um, do you clean so I answered that is laundry detergent okay you can use laundry detergent I'll, it's not the best of the best but it does work it will work um, I've used it in a pinch before when I didn't have nothing else I mean in all honesty I've used just bleach um, if you're just doing house washing and that um, I know there's some people like you gotta have this you gotta have that I've cleaned many houses just with bleach alone um, if you go watch Aaron's channel Aaron um, mean and lean Aaron he will tell you that he don't use a lot of surfactants and stuff so it does work will snot may be thick enough to draw out of a proportioner homemade yes it is thick yes it will pull out of there what's up Jason been killing it but have a long way to go can you make a video on the business side of stuff taxes how to pay employees in my membership I go over a lot of that stuff there in the taxes um, how when when you should get a CPA I haven't went over much of this um, how to employees but if you go back if you go back last year maybe even two years ago on this channel um, I did talk about the three different ways to pay employees um, so if you I did talk about it um, I don't know it was about last year I, it was either last year or the year before I talked about how to pay employees so you can go check that out there too uh, Miss Beth when you headed to the northern Kentucky area Beth um, we just got our first big commercial for 2500 and the guy has a lot more properties them are the best kind ever you know we had one property management that we did over a hundred twenty five thousand dollars one in one year and we did a lot more on top of it so after you know so that is something that ha we can you can definitely do and, and get done um I have two I wonder if I move this up here and bump this like this a little bit I might be a little small but I'm screwed over I'm trying to make this better so I can read it um I have faith pressure washing I have two four gallon pressure washers I'm wanting to combine them together to make eight gallons do I need to swap wand out you will need to get the different tips um, you'll need the so those tips should be the the 40 series so 0 5 40 um, you'll need the 50 or 60 series is what you're need, gonna need so like the 0 0 60 or 50 will work too um, hey Jason just landed my first job doing a house wash and window cleaning for $575 that's a good start for $575 um so here comes some free giveaway that give away a water pad pole i could maybe do that i'm not going to give away the high dollar one um actually uh, i haven't seen him on here yet jason um uh, did a job with um jason did a job uh, with solar panel cleaning and um out of florida and he was able to use that pole that I that I did a video on not too long ago. A class, a water fed pole, um, hose reels. I'd like to give away some hose reels. Maybe I can find a, a somebody to go in with me and uh, and give it away. Hose reels got me. I want 150 of three eighths, but the swivel is a half inch. I'm no infused with water restriction you're probably saying I want three quarter but the half inch that little bit isn't gonna hurt it that much it might hurt a little bit but it's not gonna kill it that much uh, uh, let's see 
I'm so excited to expand my painting business to pressure washing. Um, well, I already have the client base, and that's half the battle. Yep, it is half the battle. Uh, just let me know. I have every Sunday in the month of July off. Awesome. I'll definitely get on that then. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Again, thank you for the $5. Um, that is the one that did it. Miss Courtney, how are you all doing? They're getting ready to drive down here from Michigan. They live like right up in this area of Michigan. Does surfactant, does less surfactant cause streaks on gutters resulting them to be inconsistent? No, no. Surfactant isn't gonna be making your stuff on the gutters much. Now, what surfactants will do is, is make your windows look like crap if you got different types of surfactants. Um, your different types of surfactants will can and will make your windows look like crap. And that is one reason why I do use Snotmanade. Um, because that is the best thing that I have found that doesn't streak your windows really bad. And when I mean streak them, I mean streak them. Um, thanks for the super chat. Your channel is helping a lot of people, including us. Appreciate you, brother. My wife is able to stay home now and take care of our family. And that is my goal, guys. It really is. My goal is, is to help you be able to support your family, be able to do things that you may not be able to do otherwise. Um, tips on cleaning metal roof standing seam. Yeah, I use the, um, I did a video on it, not about last year, I believe it was back in the wintertime. Actually, I think I put it out. And uh, just don't use no surfactant, very little surfactant, and make sure you don't let it dry. You're going to make sure that you are getting it off of there. I fly out of No Fork, Virginia at 4.40 tomorrow. Good evening, Mr. Jack. How are you doing? I was laughing at you. We're talking about your employees walking off the job saying it was broken. Yeah, that's a fun one. Um, that was one that, I mean, and where we was and where he was at from the shop, instead of just picking everything up and just taking it, I mean, it wasn't even broken. That was the thing. And it was like 20 miles away. It's like, whatever, dude. Thank you for your help. Videos are great. Do you think market is getting flooded with soft wash systems seems like everyone is selling them and a lot of people are getting into business i think that um i since i've started i've seen a lot of people come into business and guess what else i've seen i've seen a lot of people go out you know, a lot of people focus on the equipment side of things. A lot of people think that if I have this super duper high dollar equipment, I can make it. And guess what? If you cannot get customers, it don't matter what kind of equipment you got. You could have the baddest, most high dollar, fifty, seventy-five thousand, hundred thousand dollar truck and equipment, and it's not going to get you anything at the end of the day. Um, you got to be able to do a couple things. One, the most important thing is, is answer this thing. Answer your phone. If you do not answer your phone, the next person will answer the phone and then that's, they're going to get the job. You have to answer the phone. Um, if you do not answer your phone, it does you no good at spending anything in marketing. And, you know, as much as I preach this and as much as I talk about it, Jason, which is in Florida, was trying to get some quotes on solar panel cleaning. I think Jason said he called eight or nine different places. And you know how many people answered their phone? How many people you think answered their phone when he was wanting a solar panel cleaning? Zero. Zero people answered their phone. In 2020, if you do not answer, I disagree. <laughs> If you do not answer your phone, that's a whole nother thing. If you do not answer your phone, it does you no good. Now, 
I'm gonna Jason just brought up another thing that is another thing that is kind of the common thing he started letting his wife answer the phone who do you think has a better close rate Jason or the wife and the Williams had the same issue who do you think answers the phone more the wife or the husband but but the husband I know everything I know how much to bid and she don't know any of that stuff well yeah you might be right but you want to know who's going to close more jobs I about guarantee it is going to be the female is going to close more jobs than any male will ever close unless you're just a really really good salesman and you're you know you're almost so good that you kind of feel icky then then the female is probably going to close the job. And I'm not being one side or the other. I'm just telling you the truth of what I've seen, what I've seen in my own business. In my own business, you know, when I put a female there, we started closing more jobs. We started getting better payments out of people. Why? I don't know. It's just, I think that us as guys thinks that we have to be the dominant one in that and guess what who is our customer at the end of the day is it the male or the female is it the the husband going to work every day or is it the nagging wife saying get it clean if you don't get it clean i'm going to call somebody that is probably who the that is who the customer is going to be all right off that soapbox do you recommend predators interviewing um they're cheap i've used a couple of them and they're not too bad so we are on the road finally can't wait they're gonna be they're about eight hours away hey jason thanks for all your help thanks for watching i appreciate that i really do appreciate everyone watching and supporting me in any which way they can um i know some people i get hate mail and all that crap but you know what i do what i do because I'm helping people change your lives, literally change your lives. This is something that if you don't believe me, I, I'm got, getting a testimonial page of people sending me stuff and that's going to be on there. And that is exactly why I do what I do. Um, I mean, waiting on shipment, it looks like get everything by the end of this month, getting everything set up will take a week I work is a good time when is everything ready or wait till next year I would I mean if you get it all set up this year I would at least start working on a few things I would start working on definitely getting your Google my business up and running and definitely trying to get some reviews even if you are doing $200 house washing you can get at that you will definitely definitely uh, make that happen um I just finished up famous rapper TI 35,000 mansion and I had the hardest time getting the enormous clean or the effervescence cleaned around the windows and back deck. I use SH and hot water several times other degreaser and thoughts. If if it has the black streaks under like windows and stuff is that what you're talking about especially it happens a lot of times on stucco um or it'll even happen on vinyl. A lot of times you're going to need to use an acid. You can use something like One Restore, which is a kind of a, a milder, ask, ma, uh, milder acid. It's in still an acid and it still will eat you, but um, you can use it. You can use F9. You can use Olic Acid. There's a couple of different things you can definitely use. What makes hose reels so expensive? I don't know, but they are. Well, that motor on the back of that, um, the electric hose reels, if you just buy that motor, it's like $150, $200 just for that motor. So there, that's a lot of your cost right there. Um, any suggestion on eliminator mix ratio? Yep, whatever the paper says on it. Using a blend manifold? Uh, yeah, that's going to be a little bit more tricky. I kind of see what you like, how, how much soap you want, and just go from there. How can I get the lines out? Because every time I use a surface cleaner, they don't come up. And I like how it is. And I don't like how it is. Um, slow down. Make sure your tips are clean. Um, all kinds of stuff. No, I haven't. Um, I've been... 
Um, hey, Jason, we're here. <laughs> Golf Coast. Have you tried Post Reel? I don't know. Oh, Isaac. Hi. The problem with my roof cleaning setup, 12 volt pump. I use Everflow. The pump is so hot and the pressure switch always broke down. I already changed four pumps in one month. My question would be is what size hose do you have? If you have only like a 3 8 hose, it's going to get hot. You really need a half inch or 5 8. And what size hose is coming in? Um, if you've got a small hose and it's sucking hard, it's not going to last long at all. And it'll probably blow that fuse several times. Or burn up like you're talking about. Um, make sure you're keeping it good and cleaned out too. Because if you don't do that, that can be another issue. So good and cleaned out and all that. Who won the Reaper? Not you. <laughs> it was... I'm on, I'll pull it up there. It was awesome power washing. Um, who won it? So there it is. Awesome power washing. Um, might scoot over now. Half inch out in and half inch out. You might try to bump up that intake hose. That can that can cause it. Make sure that it's nice and steady and running. If it's going dit, 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 like a lot. So, you know, the other thing is, is it's either fully on or fully off. No half. And make sure that when it's running, it's running solid. Like, meh. Um, Cody um, with soft, or Southeast Soft Washing has a video on how to take that 5 mil at the t on there and adjust it. So that it runs nice and smooth. Um, just landed 70,000 square feet of TPO roof for next week. Any tips or tricks? Yep. Soft wash it. Um, use about a... You can. I would probably just use a 50-50 mix. Put it on there and rinse it off. And you'll be ready to rock and roll. It's pretty simple. Having problems with pricing, lots of people want a lot of work for cheap. What's your advice? It's not your customer. Find the ones that will pay. Um, not everybody's your customer. Uh, I disagree. Have a pretty woman answer the phone. <laughs> Is it normal? Is it normal to have a little fuzzy on wood after cleaning? I'm not talking splintering, but just a little fuzzy. No matter how little pressure I use, I still get it. Try to, try to back your bleach down a little bit. Try to make, because if you're too hot on your bleach, it can cause that. Sometimes you're going to have it, but try to bring down your bleach. I have three house washes and two house and roof with concrete driveways lined up. Can't wait to get out there. Um, come on, man. You're killing me. Just picked up my yard signs and cards. Taking your advice. Thankful, thanks. Hopeful I get calls. I'm not still going to push on. And that is the thing, you know, and make sure a lot of people want to add all everything to these signs. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, what it is, you know. Um, what's up? Central, my experience, it's always possible. It depends on the wood and the age and sometimes it's on. Yep, exactly. Um, and bleach will actually cause it more likely to do it. If you use sodium hydroxide or something like that, it's a little less likely for it to do it. I will be on my way down tomorrow. It's going to be a great weekend. Yes, it is. We appreciate all you do. Thank you, Tez. Yep. Double Christine's salary this month. Jason, I hope the good Lord bless you and your family. You help all us and deserve the blessings. Well, thank you. Um, starting up, starting up pressure time, pressure washing, pray for me. I'll be praying for you. Thank you. I really hope I win the Reaper. 
you did unless you are awesome wash pow, pw at gmail you didn't win um pre and post treat helps get rid of lines for surface cleaning and that is true 100 percent um will help do that half yeah we didn't talk about that big job we talked about said no doesn't matter it meant that we are going doing is getting it to everyone what we are doing is getting there yep that's exactly right not you made me um is it me or our shipments taking way too long i ordered a whisper wash it's been two weeks still in the process any good vendors that ship it out to new jersey um i've been hearing some more of that i i like i don't like telling you what i like uh i don't make no money off of anybody so you go figure it out no <laughs> Um, Russ Johnson is who I always use, which I've always said that, uh, which he's only a little way away. Um, another person, so if you're going to order online, I like using Pressure Tech. And Pressure Tech is in Northern Ohio. And if you usually order it one day, you'll get it the next, depending on your shipping and how far it is. Um, Russ Johnson, you got to call him on the phone. His website is not very good at all. You have to call him on the phone. TPO is a type of roofing on top. Usually it's like that white stuff on top of there. Jason, how much did you spend approximately monthly for advertising? If I spend 4K, does that mean I'll have 30000 a month? Do you agree? You should be able to do that, um, depending on what you're spending it on and what you're doing. Um, you should be able to do that. I, I think you can do that for sure. Is that poly braid hose okay for soft wash system or do I need a different type of hose? Five gallon a minute pump. Um, the poly braid, the only thing that you're not going to like about the poly braid is it gets hard as a rock. <laughs> as time gets on, it'll sit out. You can, it gets pretty hard. Um, the thing that um, you can use that I actually used on my last trailer is I use Flexzilla hose and it works. It's really light. It's really easy and it's pretty easy to, to handle. So, do you need a special equipment for driveways, cement, on, or blacktop? Do you need special equipment for driveways, cement, or blacktop? Blacktop, you don't want to do much to it. You will screw it up. You don't want to put no chemicals on it because blacktop is one of those things that. Um, Blacktop is one of those things that, you know, for us to remove anything, we're going to have to put a degreaser on anything, right? So if we put a degreaser on blacktop, what's that, what is blacktop made out of? Blacktop is made out of oils and stuff like that. So if we use a degreaser on it, we can actually damage it pretty daggone quick. So we just got to be careful with that. Down here in Georgetown, Kentucky. I stole your idea for the yard signs. It says house washing, big letters, and phone number. I've got it in good areas. Had them out for two weeks and only gotten three calls. I haven't seen many of your signs. And I'm in Georgetown every third day until this past week. I haven't been there at all. So I'm off for the whole month of July. I got my signs in today from UZ Marketing. Yep, I seen that. Hello, above and beyond, John. Thank you for your videos. You have inspired me, Mike Z from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Any recommendations for a 12 or 14 inch surface cleaner? Something decent to start out with. Um. For a small, I mean, if you got a four gallon a minute, I'd go ahead and get a 16 inch because you're going to hate having a small one. Um, who here, I know a lot, I know this is all about pressure washing mostly, but who here would be interested if you are not too far from me, a um, couple, you know, four or five hours of hosting either a pressure washing class or 
Um, if you're hosting the pressure washing class, you're probably going to have to have the equipment that I can use or somewhere I can get some equipment or hosting a Christmas light class. Um, these classes, I probably would like to be able to do about 10 people. Um, um, let me know if that would be something that you would be willing for me to do. Um, and put, um, I probably, I need to figure out a way that you can let me know that. Um, but I may even put something down here as I'm scrolling through. Um, but who would be willing to either host a pressure washing class or a, um, or a Christmas light class? I like to travel. Me and my wife likes to travel anyway. We both like to travel. And so this is something that I'm thinking about doing is going to a couple different places um, to do some training so that way I'm kind of getting closer to other people versus you have to come all the way to the good state of Kentucky and uh, uh, and let me know. Um, if it's nice and warm and it's middle of October, we'll go to Florida. You know, I'm all in, buddy. Um, so just some things to think about that if you are definitely would be willing, let me know and uh, and do that. Is Williamsburg, Virginia too far? I don't think so. Is that you want to do for pressure washing or house washing? Um, I'm going to scroll on down through here. But I only have three five-star reviews. But I'm already coming up second when you Google power washing in my area. Any idea why that is? I'm not complaining. Um, is it where are you searching that from? Um, are you searching it from where that is or are you searching it from like the firehouse and and go incognito mode when you do it? Um, because if you are on that website a bunch or you're on there Google will automatically throw that up there. So um, Just something to think about is That way you can do that um, Do that, but I am thinking about on that training thing. I am really thinking about more for this year, I'll definitely do a couple, but for Christmas lights will probably be the biggest thing. So, where can I learn about roof soft washing? Can I do this from the ground? Um, you can if it's a one story. It's a little tougher with the two story. I do know some people do it with a water fed pole and that kind of thing. Um, if you come to my in-training class, I teach you how to do roof cleaning also. Um, in my in my membership, I teach you how to do that. And that is at pressurewashhelp.com slash in-person training and pressurewashhelp.com slash training. In there, I teach it too. Again, the webinar. Um... Will a four tip bar really cut down on flat work running Simpson 20 inch for my eight gallon a minute? I don't know about the Simpson 20 inch. Can you get an eight? Can you get a four tip bar for that? Um, I know the whisper wash will cut down on it for sure. What equipment? Okay, I'll answer that question when I get down there, Mr. Gregory. Um, I have a bypass kit on my downstream chemical hose in my tank is running through a bulkhead fitting. How do I clean out my injector at the end of each day? I use a, I actually use, instead of using this two-way ball valve, I actually use a three-way ball valve that has another tit. So one's water, one's um, soap, and that's how I'm able to do that. Get a Whisper Wash Classic. You'll never have any streaks issues again. Make sure your um, nozzles are clean. Clean them every few months. Hope this helps. I batch mixing. I'm getting volume confused with ratio. My wife and I have been going back and forth for two days. 10%. She says one gallon in a hundred gallon makes 1%. And I say put 10 gallons in a hundred. I don't know. Um, so I'm assuming you're batch mixing for soft washing that route. I believe somebody was telling me you put about a gallon into every 15 gallons. I believe I don't remember. I'd have to let me let me think about that and I'll get on back on that one. 
Um, 10 gallons would be 10, uh, 1100. It's all math and I'm not very good at math. I suck at it actually. Other than hundred hundred dollar bills and fifty dollar bills and twenty dollar bills, that's the kind of math I like. Who likes that kind of math? Who likes math with money versus math with other stuff? <laughs> uh, yeah, I ordered off of Russ. He's great. Got it right away in New Jersey, but ordering pressure washing direct never again. I've never used those. Um, can you say how much did you spend on Google monthly? About four grand, three to four thousand dollars. Usually it's about a thousand dollars per truck. Um, what do you recommend for oil and driveway with cold water? A good degreaser. Nathan, how long was he? Were you a seal? Um, you need a 911 hotline for the field problems, and I want five percent. <laughs> Um, actually, I am looking at doing a phone call with, or a Zoom call for, for me. Now, it's not going to, I'm actually, it is going to be something that I am looking at doing. Um, we'll see if it works out or not. I'm working on my website right now. I'm actually redoing my website. If you go to pressurewashhelp.com, it still pretty much looks the same, but um, if you go under power washing, it's going to, I'm going to start trying to put some of my videos with some wording underneath of it. And so I'm going to try to start ranking my website better. And so I will be having that. Th so like if you go under pressurewashhelp.com and underneath it says, um, it says, uh, power washing, it's going to be there's all kinds of articles going to be underneath there. So I'm going to run a blog and it actually says power washing blog on the top, right? If you click in there, I'm going to start putting videos in there and I've had some videos in there, but I'm going to add some more videos in there. And then that way, um, it will be to my YouTube channel. I'm just going to embed my YouTube, um, channel, my YouTube video in there. And then you can find it that way. Um, they're still going to be all mixed up. I'm not really going to organize anything. If you want it all organized, you got to go into my training. That is where everything's organized from starting the business process all the way through to cleaning. Signs are like the ocean. Nothing, nothing, little bit. Holy crap, we need four lines and call waiting. Oh, and here's another thing about signs. And I got a Zoom call. I'm not going to say who it was from. I'm not going to call him out too much. But I, it was kind of funny. Um, this person was having a pretty crappy day um, this week. And uh, <laughs> he sent me a boxer. And he's like, we bought these signs. I had this nice lettering all done on my truck. And the phone number was the wrong phone number on the signs, on the truck. And he's been running around for about two or three weeks like this and the wrong phone number. So always, always double check your stuff, your signs, make sure your sign, cause all it takes is one number off anywhere in that thing, one number off and your phone number, your phone will not ring. So Teak says, I will do either one. Um, you're coming down for pressure washing. Um, I may look at doing Christmas lights up there because I believe you're pretty far north, but our north up on the coast. So that would actually be pretty cool. Um, we use this mansion in Atlanta. We could use this mansion in Atlanta. Uh, teach me and I'll host no problem. New Jersey. No joke. Um, pick me actually i'm pretty sure we're gonna i talked to uh, mr arkansas soft wash and i think i will be doing a training down there um in that way i'm gonna try to maybe start setting up something with him also so that way it won't be too far um is williamsburg virginia too far i don't know never been up that way so me and my wife might want to come up that way um, actually, um, my daughter is starting to do some soccer stuff. If 
as long as COVID don't be stupid. And she's kind of on a, she'll be traveling about four times a year. Um, and so one is in Cleveland. So if anybody's in that Cleveland area, um, one is in by DC area. So if we go up to DC, that if once we get the schedule and I find something either the week before or the week after, um, I may try to do some either a Christmas light class or something up there around those spots where that class or where we're going to be traveling for. Um, you can come to Florida for vacation. We could wash some places. Uh, that's pretty close to Cleveland, isn't it? Raleigh, North Carolina. Nope, that's not too far. I like North Carolina. I think it's pretty down that way. I live in New Orleans. You're welcome anytime. Awesome. Five dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Um, come to Cookville, Tennessee. Rhode Island. I've never been to Rhode Island before. Land of stucco and barrel tile roofs. I've did very few of those of the barrel tile. But we can put Christmas lights on there too. Just north of Pittsburgh. That would probably not be a bad spot. Uh, Washington. I'll host come to Virginia. Washington. Now that's a little bit far. That might be a flight. What is your worst memory? I'll answer that here shortly. Is there any need to pre-treat aggregate if I'm sealing it? It's just, the only reason why I would is just to make sure all the mold is dead. Make sure that you didn't miss any mold that's down in there that won't allow it to seal at that point. Uh, what equipment do you need to host a Christmas light class? Um, so what equipment do, do I need to host a Christmas light class? I'll need a ladder and a ladder. Um, some of them for the Christmas lights I may drive because there is some stuff that I need. Um, but if you would have the, basically you're going to need a ladder and a goat. Um, them are the two safety things, a ladder and a goat, or we could do, um, a ladder or a goat or a ladder and a Ridge pro. Um, we need something for safety and that's the best safe. Them are our two best safety options. Um, so we need a, what you know probably a 28 foot ladder and then we need that and then like somewhere if i actually fly there i'll probably ship stuff there and then when i get there i will um we will just go from that so i've just searched for flexzilla hose for soft wash systems i thought that type of hose was like regular garden hose type. I'm sorry, I don't know. And it is regular garden type hose. Um, just make sure you get it all in one length. Don't get it in two, you know, don't use your garden hose fittings because them O-rings will go bad. But you can buy it in a roll of like 300 feet and then that way you can use it all one thing. Don't forget you teach the don't that. It's also... Don't do that. I do. And that's a lot of what I, that is how I do teach. Um, I have screwed up enough stuff in my life that, and I've had employees screw up enough. I've had people call me and screw up enough stuff that I know what not to do with it. Um, you know, and if you don't know what to do with it, it, you can screw stuff up and it will screw up. Power washing. Where are you located? I'm in Northern Kentucky, the greater Cincinnati area. Um, I've searched it from a few different places and when I ask customers how they heard about me, they say I was just one on the first people to pop up and they Google, Hey, that's good, dude. That's not a bad deal. That's the Google God watching over you. Um, Hey, I missed what you said about yard signs in Georgetown. I just said, I didn't, I haven't seen many signs in Georgetown since I live, I mean, I don't live down there, but I, I've been a firefighter down there every third day. Thank you. And here's the thing, guys, and especially Nathan, um, where, you know, I know where you should probably put them, um, you know, it, but you, you know, if you're putting them in places like, um, 
off of quality drive and that them really aren't your customers um if you're putting it over in um cherry blossom they're probably going to get pulled pretty quick um but that's places that have money and can do it um i would put them on like cynthia road stuff along there i would put them um i would put them over off of 460 going out to paris pike i mean there's just all you just got to put them out there it's the it's the game of putting signs out you know go put out 25 signs a week and uh and that way you can do that um what's he saying firehouse i don't know what you're saying yeah um thank you for all the great information in your videos and you are right yard signs work people are crazy if they don't use them or you can get mad at me like one person did and start giving me crap because you're throwing trash in there but what they they're like you're throwing trash out and all this stuff but I do clip flyers. I'm like, really? You're going to give me crap for putting yard signs out about throwing trash out, but you're going to do clip flyers? Oh, and he does door to door. And I'm like, you're doing door to door in this climate of COVID-19? Get a life. Sorry. I'd, I'd rather put a yard sign out and go knock on somebody's door and have them flipping out because I'm there. Because they're going to flip out. People are crazy. What would be faster on flat work? Eight gallon, 2,500 PSI or five and a half, 3,000? Probably eight gallon, 2,500. Evening, Jason. How are you? Morning walks treating you? Or how are the morning walks treating you? They're nice. I actually enjoy it. It gives me out of the house and I get to, I've been doing a lot of Facebook, um, Facebook lives I've been doing that's something else in my pressurewashhelp.com slash training you get in the Facebook group make sure you get on that Facebook group um, every morning that I take a walk I do a Facebook live in the group and what I do in that group is is I've been talking I'm going to talk about a subject each week um, and so this week like this week I've been on Facebook um, on Facebook like the first day was Facebook, your personal Facebook. Today was Facebook, um, Facebook, um, your business Facebook. Tomorrow is going to be about nothing because I got people coming here. Saturday is going to be nothing because I ain't walking those two days. Um, and then Sunday might be my next day that I, I do it. So um, that is definitely something that I will be doing. Let's have a women's class one day you set it up and i can go up there and do it with you and i will teach it um i would definitely be willing to do that um for sure nathan um i get a lot of motivation from you good work keep it up how can i get your program if i don't own a credit card mm. Uh, go to buy a, I don't know, Visa card from Walmart. I don't know how to tell you because that's the only way I know. Jason, what machine would you recommend as far as the five and a half belt drive? Yes, I would. It depends on the strength of SH. I like money math edition or multiplying only. Them, that's the best kind of multiplying right there. Let's multiply $100 bills. Um, thanks, Matt. Thanks, Lawn Commander. Oh. Soft wash equation. Amount of SH you want. Percent of SH the contained size. I want 3% divided by, yes. You are right on that. Has anyone bought into Aaron's Lean Mean? You really want this one because this is way better. Here's the thing. I'll tell you the difference between mine and Aaron's. Mine, it, what happened here? I've screwed up stuff. Oh, well. Pressurewashhelp.com slash training. I've jacked that one up. Uh, Pressurewashhelp.com slash training. Um, 
what I I tell you what I have done that some, a lot of people have not done at all. Period. Um, and I'm not just saying this to be saying this. I this is truth right here, 100% truth. The class is Saturday, correct? That is correct. Um, here is the deal about it, guys. Jason Guyman started my business in 2011. Jason Guyman grew that business, grew a pressure washing business in the greater Cincinnati area, which the greater Cincinnati area is not as big as the area as a lot of other places. Um, Cleveland is, we, we've just been looking at these numbers. Um, Columbus is like, so the greater Cincinnati area is like 300,000 people. Um, Lexington is 350,000 people. Indianapolis has like 800 and some thousand people in the greater metro area of that. So, and here's the thing about Cincinnati. If you look at the, the average cost of living in Cincinnati, you're not going to find many places lower of cost of living. It's pretty cheap to live in the greater Cincinnati area. And it's even cheaper to live in northern Kentucky. You get a little bit further down in Kentucky that we covered, it's even cheaper. Now, what did I do? I grew this business, my pressure washing business, to over a million dollars. Now, I didn't just do it one year. I did it one year, and then I sold the business. There's not many people I know that have sold it. In fact, the people that I know have sold businesses, we sold our business. I sold this business more than anybody else has sold it for. So... I sold my business in 2018. That is when I started really doing the training side of things. I sold my business and the next year in 2019, which was last year, I did all the marketing for it. And guess what? We made another million dollars for the new business. So this is something that all my knowledge I put into my training. Into this training, I go how to start your business, how to um, how to get business. The marketing section alone, and I keep adding to it, is worth way more than anything that you could ever ask for. This is 10 years of me learning marketing. And you know, I paid out marketing. I tried to have my website built. I tried to have, um, so I tried to have, um, you are killing me. <laughs> I tried to have everything. I'm going to tell you what he has. He has a guy that is really good at getting videos um, to that. So that is what he's really good at. So this is something that I have done is I have started and grown a business. Now, does he kind of do the mean and lean and everything? Yep. And, I, and I'm not disagreeing with that. There's different business models. You know, there's definitely different business models. But... I have given, you know, I have given you step by step. I have screwed up way more stuff than I guarantee most of anybody else out there that I've also done. He's right. Marketing videos doubled our internet views. So that's the deal with it. If you want to do a house washing and to shoot chemicals already mixed without downstreaming or using an X mix valve, how would you mix chemicals? Um, just what they were talking about up there. Put 10 gallons of, of that into a 100 gallon mat, batch mix. When are you coming to Dallas, Texas? I don't know. What do you want me to come there for? Christmas lights? I might do it for Christmas lights. You're saying $1,000 per month per truck, but you're offering managing Google and Google ads for 2K or 2 or 1K a month and how many phone calls you can get it if you spend $1,000. I'm not, here's the thing about managing ads right now. I've actually stopped managing ads for right now. Um, this is something that I quit doing. It might be something I do in the future, but it isn't something I'm doing right now. Um, I've actually, um, uh, I've been focusing on other stuff. And so that is why I have not been doing that. Now I do have the setup that I will set everything up onto your ad or onto your page. Um, that is a one-time fee and, um, I will give you about a 30 to 45 minute um, Zoom call of what you will need to do and to keep up with it and how to do that. I 
character bowling down here saying thank you. Um, what is my worst memory? Um, I don't know. I think everybody has bad days in business. Um, it's just it's just the fact that there's probably a pretty good chance you're going to have a bad day in business. And so, you know, with that said, um, I mean, probably when I screwed up a bunch of stuff would probably be the worst day. We tried to do a house wash and I, we, I tried to do a house wash on the hottest day of the year and I burnt up every freaking thing. Um, and I don't know if it was, I, I, and I'm pretty sure it was like 102 or 105 degrees that day. And the house wash I did was right at like three o'clock. So the hottest part of the day and I'm spraying all this water. Well, guess what? It burnt up every flower around the house. And like I say, I think it was more from the heat of the water. Can, you can actually boil the plants by even just putting too hot of water on it. I can take you boating if you come here. I like that idea. Um, we can make things happen in Rhode Island. I like Rhode Island. I've never been to Rhode Island, so... Um, Williamsburg is about an hour and a half outside of DC. So I may, um, I may make something that way. I might make a form. So that way, um, it'll be just a quick form of, you know, pressure washing Christmas lights and where you're located at. So then that way, if you want, somebody wants to fill that out and that way I can get a hold of you if I decide to head to those areas. Um, and, and especially with, um, I mean, I'm going to keep doing pressure washing because this is my pressure washing channel. I am planning on putting a little bit more Christmas lights on this channel. Um, I do have a Christmas light channel. I may actually do some there too. I don't, I haven't decided. I've been really wanting to grow this channel, but I might have to just keep them separate. I haven't figured out what I want to do. Um, he's on the border. Got a barrel tile roof next week. Send you pictures. Yep. Them always look good. Um, dirty Jersey, not as bad as you think. Just a nasty attitude. You'll get used to it. Them Northern people. I'm about an hour from you. 28 foot is your recommendation. I need a new ladder. Yes, I like the 28 foot. The 32 isn't too bad and they're not much heavier. Um, very. My wife and I just moved from Florence, Kentucky last year to South Carolina. Yep. Mr. William Brown. They have been a bunch of new signs in the Georgetown area. I know, but they haven't been sticking up as long as what I've noticed. Brian, do you do any window cleaning more and more? Are asking and I'm ready for entry level pole and resin filter. That's what I would do. Putting out yard signs is not easy work, especially when it is me and a seven year old. No, it, it can get, I always try to put them out on a Friday. Um, is when I try to put them out. We do window cleaning, but don't have a water fed pole yet. Still squeegeeing. We are getting $10 a window exterior. Only. That's pretty good money right there. Um, I did door to door in July. I lost 10 pounds and 30 hours of my life. And how many jobs did you get? Um, I don't push it much, but starting next year will be um, implementing packages. If you're not doing packages, you have to do packages. Um, same channel, different night off for Christmas lights. Three week washing part time and got two jobs booked for over a thousand dollars. Several other jobs waiting approval. Wouldn't know what to do without your videos and help. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Clayton. For thank you. Um, what's a good extension ladder? I would do a uh, 28 foot 24 sometimes isn't going to be very tall to get you up there enough. How do I get the pressure wash help Facebook group? Um, it is in Greg. It is, if you, it should be on one of the very first videos of talks about asking questions in that. And it's in that video. I need to start, I need to put it out on every video so that it can be easily found. Um, Cherry Blossom has the big houses. I've got them at Walmart, Kroger, and other places. I live off 62. I'm really trying to put them in high traffic area, more scenery. 
So you and William Brown are pretty close to each other, actually. William Brown lives off Pleasant Valley, so... <laughs> uh, does anybody know a place that I can get tips for my surface cleaner cheap? Yeah, anywhere. Just using just using it for roof cleaning. I would still do a 28 foot because sometimes, depending on your height, and that can get you down a little bit further. Um... I'm still knocking doors, and yes, people are tripping out, but it's a great distraction to go in for the kill and close the deal. The class is Saturday, yep, and there is a few open spots if anybody wants to come to the great state of Kentucky, right next to the Cincinnati airport. Get you a diamond pole, fellas. <laughs> and you can, and, uh, I don't know if Justin's still on here or not, but Gaiminate Your Market. That might be a new a new definition. Gaiminate Your Market. For you guys starting out like us, I tell myself about the gazelle and the lion. Yep. Hey, Jason, just starting out, I have a two and a half pressure washing looking to get a J-Rod. Is there a certain size orifice I should be trying to get? It's probably the, um, it's probably the, um, ah, shoot, the two, you'll need to like the 1.9 downstream injector. And then, uh, it's probably going to be like a 30 series, 05, 30, 25, 30, something along those lines. So should I invest in yours before mean and lean claims the best? Yes. You are killing me. Yes. Pressurewatchhelp.com slash training. Um, you can go to this webinar too. sign up for this webinar and you can dominate your, dominate your market. If you want to dominate your market, go check it out. Um, uh, lean and mean kicked me out of Facebook group for mentioning Jason. Haters are going to hate. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Sign up with Jason. Super helpful. Great course. I'm losing my mind on fittings, buffer, power washing, roof pump. Let me know how can you help me via. Um, I mean, I go through all of it in my course um, about the equipment inside of it. Um, but you can, it'll nickel and dime you. You know, a lot of people think that the pressure washer and all that's the expensive part. It's all the little stuff that adds up fast. Um, you'll go to the store 10 times and you'll waste... 10 hours trying to find all the parts you need. Um, this is awesome. My first ad on Facebook, $5 a day in four days, got me $3,800. That is pretty good. Let's bump it up to $10 and see if we can do $7,000. I want to share my marketing idea I came up with. I blow bubbles out of the top of my trailer. It's like driving a classic muscle car with how people look at you. I do this driving down the road or park. I heard a lady yell at her kids to look at the trailer. I just got the trailer and it it got it set up and need to get it lettered up. Yes. Hopefully you can get some jobs. Yeah, actually there's a guy does, um, I believe it's window cleaning. And it's called like bubble clean or something like that. And he has a truck that has bubbles coming out. And I think he can actually do like different colors of bubbles and stuff. It's actually pretty cool. Um, we need an update Christmas light video. It's in my membership. Christmas light sounds good. Please let me know when you, when you, you will join us. Um, you guys are asking a lot of questions tonight. Yep. Nurseries here have to water way before two or the color of the plants toast. Yep. Um, but you all get like a rain every day at five o'clock or three o'clock. Is anyone batch mixing to do roof cleaning? That's how I always did it until I 
built this new trailer, but on my, all my other trucks, I batch mix. Um, I'd had a 50-50 tank, 50% water, 50% soap, so one gallon of bleach to one gallon of that, and that is actually what I downstreamed. So, same channel, different night. Does anyone know what to charge for solar panels? Just best kept secret in Florida. Nobody's doing it, sounds like. Sounds like you need to just charge more. Jason, will you still be doing classes in November or December if weather permits? Maybe. Do you help with making packages? I talk about it in my pressure washing and I give, um, in my training, and I give the actual, um, give some different package deals. What you, you know, what you can do and go from there. Uh... What is your Christmas light channel? If you go to um, christmaslightshelp.com slash YouTube, that'll be that channel. Yeah, I've been William around. I've seen William around. There's another company with nice trucks and full nice wraps. Yeah, he's actually a good friend of mine. Um, one of them is. Um, Pro, or um, Mike's his name. He's, he, uh, He's a good friend of mine. He taught me how to do deck cleaning and stealing. Hi, Jason. From one big guy to another, which ladder do you feel more comfortable, aluminum or fiberglass? Um, I like the aluminum one. Uh, just make sure you get the 300 pound. Well, I have. I actually had the 250 pound rated one, and I would get on it. Um, I exceeded that by a little bit, 30, 40, 50 pounds. Um, but I would, if you're going to do aluminum, um, I would definitely do the 300 pounder one. Make sure if you're that heavy. Um, and, uh, just because the fiberglass, I mean, obviously the fiberglass is a little bit stronger and it is, but it's heavier. And, you know, I don't, I'm kind of lazy and I don't like that extra 10 pounds. And you say, well, it's only 10 pounds. 10 pounds on a ladder means a whole lot. So, you know. You're going to live stream the class? I might do some, but not too much. Actually, I'm going to try to get some video this weekend. I do fiberglass. I'm not small. Christina said, speak it, brother, to you nickel and dime comment about parts. <laughs> it will, man. <laughs> you'll, you'll, go to the, you'll go to Menards. Tractor supply, wherever, and you'll have $500, and it'll be a little big bag about like this. Um, love the bubble idea. How can I share this? You get my employees on here. How can I share this? You get my employees on here. Um, you can share it just at the bottom. How you actually check out Lean and Mean's program. Is it complete trash? I'm not trashing anybody. I don't know. I've never seen it. I've never looked at it. Um, I've seen a little bit of it, and I, it's up to you what you want. What's up, Jason? Your videos are super helpful. Um, I know I give a lot of information. So, do you have someone that can fabricate aluminum skids in your area when I come to one of your classes? Um, actually talking about that, I am looking at building enclosed trailers. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the open trailers, but I am looking at building enclosed trailers and how many of these are, are am I going to build? I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't think I want to be a Cody and build them 60, 70 hours a week. So there will be a limited of them. Um, but I am looking at building enclosed trailers. Um, there'll probably be two different types of enclosed trailer. The, it'll be one that will be a single axle, and it'll be kind of a smaller one that you can pull with a, like a Jeep or something like that. Or it may be, and then I'm going to do a tandem axle, so it'll have the bigger tanks in it and all that great stuff. And that one will be, uh, it'll be on the tandem axle. So I am looking at doing that. I don't do skids. Again, if you do, do want a skid, you can go check out um, South, or go check out, um, what's his name? Um, Arkansas Softwash or something like that. 
Wild Wild West at Jason joined for Christmas lights and or power washing in Dallas, Texas. Thank you for the super chat. Um, hello, Jason. Which pump do you recommend? 4,000 PSI, 4 gallon a minute with manufactured in America, not China. I don't know. They're all a pump. Um, Seth, tomorrow we are getting on top of our marketing, Jason, for Facebook marketing and suggestions. Where is your location? I want to come down to a class from New Jersey. I am, like I said, in Northern, er, Cincinnati Airport is actually in Northern Kentucky, and I live about 10 minutes from the Cincinnati Airport. If I go unsupervised for pressure washing store, I better have some gold jobs booked. Yeah, because it gets expensive. At, you, you get expensive fast. It's a pickup truck, not an enclosed why enclosed trailers um i i just wanted to do enclosed trailers because um i don't know um because there's a couple reasons there's a lot of people that want to you know if if you want to keep your equipment i'm going to go out and you know if you want to keep your equipment um safe out of the weather all that kind of stuff enclosed is a little bit easier enclosed is a little bit easier to build without a lot of fabrication um if where if you do the open you got to be you know you're going to have to do some fabricating and it's not to say that i can't get it done it's just a matter of you can do it a little bit easier out of a enclosed and not have to worry about a bunch of fabrication so that's why i want to do the enclosed I was looking into an enclosed that way I can park it behind regular job when I get off work. Yep, pulling a Jeep doesn't end too well. I do it every day. Yeah, my Jeep with this big trailer here, it my Jeep don't like it. It don't like it pulls the gas a lot of gas. Um, would love to get in in on building some trailers in with winter time when I'm not too busy. I want an enclosed to get my rig out of the garage, keep the rain off of it. And that's kind of why I want to do the enclosed side of the, uh, yeah. And, and an enclosed can be, a, I agree on this, enclosed can trailer be a pain to pull, but you know, I'm not looking at the higher ones. I'm actually looking at the lower profile ones. So that way you're not getting uh, like a big wind sail. But it is, this is another reason why, you know, the good about the, um, is you can put signage around it and buddy, you want to talk about don't making them look good. Do some Google searching on Rhode Island. It's a small, beautiful place. You may want to visit. If you know, do let me know. Yep. Definitely will. Any recommendation on a good ball valve? The one that I have bruising my hand. It's so hard to turn. I like the, I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> enclosed trailers don't have equipment that grow legs <laughs> easier to go big yard sign on it also rain doesn't fry 12 volts you any conventions coming up to the north especially to the garden state uh open trailers grab a lot of attention and land us more jobs so i'm and and i may be doing and this is some other things i'm looking at doing is doing the trailer doing the marketing doing the website doing everything so that way it will be a whole business um, encounter when you buy it it's not just going to be a trailer um, i see a lot of people think that if they buy a pressure washing trailer they're just automatically going to get their business and that's not the case and so when i do buy this i am looking at adding a you know, it's going to be a whole encompass thing. Now, it's not going to be 15000 obviously, because I'm going to add a lot more value to that. It is going to cost a little bit more. You're, I'm probably looking in a 25-ish range. But again, this will have, um, I, I'm find, I found a guy that can do websites for me. Um, I'm actually having one website built for D, DJs getting his website built 
for it. So I'm going to see what that website looks like. And if I like it, I'm going to keep using it. And this is some things that I am going to offer with that. So it will be a incomplete business. And again, um, it will be everything from you know, the pressure washing to the whole nine yards. So um, that is why I wanted to do that. Um, and, but see, you, you say you bang your head a lot, but that's where you got to design it where you're not going in and out of it all the time. And like the design I did, that's what I, that's the reason why I don't go in and out all the time. Um, half and half cut the eight foot box off my original trailer and mounted it on my 18 foot trailer. It's the best thing I did since starting my pressure washing business. Both the best worlds. Jason, your company needs your help. Jason, our company needs your help. ASAP, we are backed up one week and dead the next. We got to find a formula. Um, yep, I did a $600 trailer from Lowe's to get started. It is okay, but my equipment investment needs to work harder. I work hard for money, so my money is going to work hard for me. Um, but All right, guys. Well, this was a Thursday night that went for an hour and a half. I didn't think it was going to go that long. Um, I've kept about 70 people on here the whole time. So I appreciate everybody showing up tonight. Again, go check out this webinar. Um, I'm, we'll talk about Gaiman 8 in your market. Um, go check it out. Um, it is, I don't even remember what it is. I better look that up real quick. Let's see if I can look it up real quick. Um, it is... I'm, I'm, I'm not the best at this. Um, it is, I don't know. It's like the 29th. Is it the 29th? I don't know. It's July something, I believe. I'll look it up here. Um, but if you go check it out, it'll tell you when the date is. Um, and go check it out. How to garminate your market. How to, how to really blow up marketing and do different things. I will be on there with Bobby Walker. Go check that out. Also, let me know if there's anything else. Um, again, go check out Pressure Wash Help. Um, I'm, I'm redoing the website, so go check it out. Let me know if there's anything I should add or distract or subtract from it, and uh, go from there. Hope you all have a great week. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Don't do nothing stupid. And I'll see you on Sunday.